Hi friends and welcome back. It's Crystal here and um, yeah, it's near the end of the weekend and so I have a few items to share with you as usual. So I'm sharing both Dollar Tree and Dollarama today. So let's get started. Uh, let's start with Dollar Tree. So um, I picked up this uh, Toronto Maple Leafs car air freshener. Um, my son's birthday is coming up, so that is for him. And then I found the six-piece um, exfoliating facial loofahs. So I've seen a review on these, and see how thin they are? Once you add the water, they um, plump right up, and they're not abrasive, apparently. So um, I've never really used loofah before, and it scares me that it would be so scratchy, but... According to people and how they've been using them, they say it's a nice exfoliant. And uh, so I'm scared too, but I'm gonna give it a try. So I've got those. And then I found this gorgeous new scrunchie. It's such, yeah, there's a string hanging on it. But look at that tan, fuzzy, uh, just furry Sherpa uh, um, hair tie. Um, that's also something I could wear on my wrist while uh, I have my hair down and if I need put it up, just take it off my wrist and up in the hair it goes. So yeah, I just love that. It's so fall and winter um, oriented. So I just loved it. So I grabbed that one. Um, they had these candies out and I don't know. I love banana and these marshmallows, I rarely get them, but it was a big bag. So 190 grams, those uh, nice puffy marshmallows. So I grabbed those for myself. And then I found this really pretty um, maroon colored pumpkin. Um, it's associated with the Halloween decor, but I think it's, I think it's fine for fall time too. Um, it's just a real pretty, gorgeous design on there. Um, if it's intended to be a spider web or not, I don't know. But to me, it's just a bunch of pretty glitter. And hey, I'm going to just stick it with my fall decor. So that's so nice. I did see a purple one too. Um, I know other people have said there was also a brown and a black. But those are the only two I seen was the maroon and the purple. So keep your eyes out for those. And then these two beaded garlands, I just thought they're really pretty. The red and the white for the Christmas time. Nine feet in each of those. And then finally, yes, the little red truck and camper. So this is to go along with those cobblestone villages where they put out um, the assortment of house and church and uh, variety stores, etc. So they had a new line come out this year and included with that is just this tiny little pickup truck and camper. I don't know why people put campers in the winter. It just kind of doesn't make sense to me, but hey, we'll go with it. <laughs> so that's it for Dollar Tree. Actually, no, I do have three more things, and it's the Wizard series. I really am enjoying these Wizard products. So these are just the steel wool pads, so I needed some of those, so I picked up that one. And then you've seen me haul this before. This is the toilet bowl cleaner with bleach, and these, this size you can't beat for a dollar twenty-five. So seven hundred and fifty mil. So I grabbed another one of those. And then I picked up this one, which is 500 ml, and it's just the cleaning liquid. I think it's the creamy one, um, like a Vim that most people would compare this to. So yeah, I'm excited to try this one out as well. So now I'm finished Dollar Tree. So let's jump into Dollarama. Okay, I was in the store and I bypassed it, and I wanted to research it before I picked it up. And what I'm talking about is this perfume. Like, look at the box alone. Sweet Melon, it's called. Okay, and then you read the notes, and there's nothing melon about it. Uh, the notes are cherry, rose, and sandalwood. And 
So I go home, I finally find the product and it's a knockoff, which they do say they are um, knockoffs on the back of the packaging. So you know that you're, you're, um, you're buying an inauthentic product. But uh, it's by um, a knockoff of Tom Ford Cherry something or other. And so good reviews on the smell and it's something that drew me in. So let me just read this and you'll probably want to get it too. This fresh and fun scent is all about keeping you sweet and tart like the cherry notes in this perfume with powdery notes of rose mixed with woody, warm sandalwood. This fragrance is exceptional. So yeah, those are the notes that are on it. The cherry, the rose, and the sandalwood. This is so sweet. I love it. And they say they're blended with essential oils, which keeps the fragrance lasting longer. Now, I haven't tried it out yet to see how it does last, but I'm telling you this scent, my mom and I, when I was younger, we used to buy this perfume. I don't know who it was sold by, but it was called Cherry Almond. One of my favorite perfumes ever. And this pretty similar to what I remember that as. So yeah, I'm excited to have that. And so they are 350 for 100 milliliters. So there's lots of different scents. Just look on the side and see if the notes are something that entice you and maybe Give it a whirl, cause I'm glad I got that one. And just let me show you the bottle. Even the bottle, it's not cheap and cheesy like a one of bottle that they all come in, but this one's so pretty. So it's just got that watermelon on it. So sweet melon and just kind of pretty and dainty. So yeah, I'm happy about that purchase. I was excited to go back and get it. Fingers crossed they were still there, and sure enough, there was, so it was meant to be. Okay, moving on. Um, this was $2. It's a mentholatum medicated lip balm, and I like to try any lip balms that have a cooling effect. So this one soothes, cools, and protects dry chap lips, so I'm going to give that one a whirl. And then I found this Nivea Essentials Urban Skin Detox. Now this one is for the evening, Night Gel Moisturizer. So this one was also $4 and I believe it's 50 milliliters. So I did look it up online and a lot of people like that it's a gel versus a cream. So that's why I went back and picked that one up as well. So here's your container. And I opened up the lid so I could give you, it's not like a clear gel, but it is like this really nice, thick, um, creamy consistency. And to grab some, like your finger just slides right off it. You're not even grabbing it. So yeah, that's what makes it like that gel consistency. So it is super smooth and initially it's pretty cooling as well. But yeah, so I wouldn't just consider this for a night um, routine, but I could go with this all day long as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, I'm going to give that one a whirl. Oh, that smells so good too. Um, I picked up this scunchy headband. Uh, they're only $1.25 and I just like the color on it, the grays and the blacks. And apparently, these um, yellow triangles glow in the dark. So that's kind of a cool thing if you're out in the dark. Um, you might be on the road running or bicycling. Um, maybe that'll give off a hint of a glare to people or traffic that's coming at you. So yeah, I was happy to get that one. Um, this brand, Body Glove, there's a 10 pack of socks here and they were $4. And they did come from a previous discounted store like um, maybe Marshalls or in the States, TJ Maxx or maybe even Mar um, Winners here in Canada. I don't know, but they had a $5.99 reduced value on there. But yeah, the brand is Body Glove and they have the Body Glove logo on the top of the toe. But what I like about these is the color is not on the actual outside but rather on the inside. <laughs> so I hate if you're wearing um, 
ankle length jeans and you're wearing the socks and they have the color band on them. At least these ones are clear. I mean, uncolored, except for the inside. So yeah, I was happy to get those. Um, I found more of the Dazzle 50 cent bracelets. So these are two that I found this time around. Um, they're what you would call a faceted jewel. So I like that these ones would fit anyone because they're just um, stretchy like that. So they're gonna fit your wrist. And uh, obviously they're one size fits all. So I just thought they were really pretty. So a blue and an amber color. And then I also found these wraparound ones, also 50 cents. So I bought the white with the silver and then the white with the gold. So yeah, I'm telling you, I love when I can find different 50 cent bracelets. They're so pretty and inexpensive. So yay! I came across this dry shampoo. This one was $4 and it's just a little bit bigger than the Batiste. And so I thought I'd give this one a try. Just, I don't know who's if it's made through Dollar Tree or what, but Euro Salon dry shampoo, unscented, and it's 198 grams. So I tried it once and it does leave the powdery white film on it. So until I can go out and get another one, this will have to do in between washes, but I don't mind the white actually, because once you do this and everything, it just blends right into your hair. So it's doing the job of, you know, absorbing the oils and everything. So it's fine with me. Um, what am I looking at? This Himalayan salt, even the cashier said that's new. So it was a dollar for the pink Himalayan salt. And this is nearly a pound, it's 450 grams. So yep, just a quarter cheaper than at the Dollar Tree. So I'm happy that Dollarama now carries the dollar packs too. And last but not least, I found more beads. So I showed you the last haul that I had the three different packs of beads. So now I found the purple series, $1.25 for that huge pack. I showed you by comparison how big the pack is. It's just, there's so much in there. So the purple series, and then the multi-series now these are a solid color whereas last haul they were translucent and colored but so there's that one and then this was my favorite so i grabbed two guys look at this they are like a pearlized translucent beautiful pastel colors Aren't they the best? Oh my gosh, I needed both packs. So I grabbed two. So yeah, $1.25. So like I said, that's what I got this weekend. So I wanted to get this out and share with you guys in case there's something you saw and you'd like to go get. I wish you luck in getting what you have on your wish list. So guys, it was great spending time with you. Feel free to like and comment below. I love to see your comments so that I can reply back to each and every one of you. So we'll see you next time guys. Take care. Bye.